what's obvious is that this year's biggest law has been in the area of retail where we've had more tenants either requesting uh, forgiveness or deferral of rent, um, many closing their doors and probably never will reopen again. And so I think of all the areas, uh, I think that's been hit the hardest. What do you think about that? I think retail's the obvious the obvious loser in the pandemic. And I, you know, when I think about retail centers, I'm most concerned about restaurants that were not already positioned to handle takeout or Postmates or any other delivery service. When I think of certain retail centers that we manage, um, you know, where the anchor was a movie theater, um, I just don't know how they come back until people feel safe enough to go into a movie theater again. And I just don't see a day in the next six months to nine months, maybe next holiday season, we'll see people back in a movie theater comfortably, you know, but that particular retail center had eight restaurants anchored to that movie theater. And they were all specialty high-end restaurants that are part, you know, one was one of those crab places where you have to go in and experience the live crab being cooked. And I just don't know how those specialty restaurants reposition. We've already seen a few of them shut down. Um, other than restaurants that are, you know, more specialty dining rest dining locations, I worry about dry cleaners, you know, how often are, are the two of us having our, our suits dry cleaned right now versus every week before, mm -hmm. um, dry cleaners. What other, what other retail shops do you, are you most concerned about other than restaurants? I think, and I think nails, salons, spas. Mm -hmm. uh, beauty salons, uh, they've had a really roller coaster ride mm -hmm. with being able to work outside if, if it was feasible and mm -hmm. then not at all. And uh, I, I think the cleaners also, like you said, are going to be a real problem. I think, you know, interestingly enough, we do have one group of restaurants where that's all. Um, that client has in a very nice beach town. And they have been able to weather the storm, mm -hmm. even though uh, they didn't have much takeout for some of them. And uh, I think that's due to the willingness of our owners with our input to try to negotiate with them so that both parties can survive rather than being real firm on your rent and inflexibility to do something. Yeah. And even, you know, I'm thinking about that, that one center where it's, you know, beach city location. You're right. It's not a whole lot of takeout and delivery. There's one pizza location, but the other restaurants yeah. will survive. Yeah. What, what do you see as the best maybe unit mix or, or tenant mix now? In a, re in a retail center going into 2021. You know, if we're advising one of our clients, who do we want to go after for a vacant suite? I think they need to all be service-oriented businesses. Um, the days of dress shops and, and shoe stores and all in, in a small retail center mm -hmm. just isn't feasible these days. So I think it's still service businesses but um, from a food standpoint, those that have the ability to to do takeout will find it easier to survive than many others.